Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So Ethereum continues to hold at the price range when we, um, well, the same price range to when I made the last video around the $1,200 mark. Um, it did break a few days ago out of this channel here to the upside and is currently, well, at the moment we are still making, you can see that here very clearly, we are still making at the moment lower lows and lower highs. So if you look at this, this is lower and this is even lower as well. So we're making lower lows and lower highs at the moment. Um, a trend will only change as soon as you're making higher highs and higher lows. We're not doing that yet. Yes, we do that here very localized, but not in this larger pattern. And therefore we just still need to be very careful. However, we have a valid trend reversal pattern here. We have first of all, a possible Elliott wave bullish pattern, five waves to the upside. That means we need to watch it. Yeah, we need to be on high alert that this could break to the upside. It's of course not guaranteed, okay? Uh, a few people have asked me, you know, wh when should they buy? Obviously I can't tell you when to buy. I told you when I bought, which was at 11.30 and 12.10, yeah? So it gives me a, a good average price and um, I'm holding these positions and I will hold these positions until we drop below $1,000. If we do that, then I will get stopped out because then I think we're going to go way lower. Um, but I don't necessarily see us drop below $1,000, okay? I still think we have a good chance to hold above the $1,000. It's it's a different question if we make an, sorry, if we make here another low um, or not, because we could still make another low here and hold the $1,000 level. It, it all comes down to one very, very important sentence actually. And this is, as long as we hold the $1,000 level, a breakout scenario is possible. And I did mention many times in previous videos that as soon or even before we go to $1,000, even then there should be another bounce. And I think we are seeing this bounce at the moment. So yeah, you know, it could still be that for Ethereum, the low is in. I'm still skeptical. There are certain things that need to happen to really, you know, act as evidence. Um, but for now we are, we can currently focus here on higher. Okay, important is now that if we um, want to see this as at least, you know, or let's say if Ethereum wants to realize the bullish or at least short-term bullish potential, because, you know, we could still be in a short-term uptrend in, for example, here a wave four, but then come down once more in a wave five and make a new low. Yeah, for example, down to a thousand dollars, maybe even break it. We will see that. But at the moment, because we are here in a localized uptrend, we can focus on higher. We are in a very interesting reversal setup here. I set it on the Bitcoin chart as well. We have here a resistance area between 1215 and 1226. We are just hovering below that. I think we might be preparing here for a breakout. We're building up for this breakout, a so-called breakout buildup phase. Um, at least we're trying, you know, obviously resistance is resistance as long as it is resistance and not broken. Um, but we are hovering just below it and we are getting closer and closer. Okay. So it's a so-called breakout buildup um, pattern. Um, we can also see here, and we have the same situation on the Bitcoin chart. We see here an inverse head and shoulders pattern that actually aligns very well with the Elliott wave scenario of a wave three um, that could take us sort of into the region around $1,350, $1,400 because the target of the head and shoulders measured in a traditional way, I take here the height of that, yeah, added to a breakout point that would take us into a similar price level, yeah, around $1,400 US dollars, maybe even here. But I need to add that actually to the, depending on where I see the breakout point, doesn't really matter too much, yeah. So, um, but this could become an inverse head and shoulders, well, or it is one. The thing is just, it needs to break to become a valid trend reversal pattern, okay? Very interesting scenario here. I don't know who, who saw that um, coming as well. Um, what else is to say? So yeah, I mean, we still ha have the situation that Ethereum is generally a much, much stronger chart than Bitcoin, continues to perform better. The waves look better. The whole scenario looks better. Um, and we can see here's either some short-term upside or really long-term upside from here, yeah? As you know, because in contrast to Bitcoin, 
Ethereum is actually in a, in a let's say, larger bullish pattern. Because Ethereum has built and created since June a so-called 1-2 setup. And these are sort of some of the best setups that you can get in Elliott Wave, 1-2. And the third wave would take us to around $3,000. Is it guaranteed? Of course not. Nothing is guaranteed in these markets. But technical analysis allows us to identify trade setups. Okay? Trade setups and so-called low risk and high reward setups. Um, did mention it before that below a thousand dollars, obviously we would get into a bearish pattern. But um, until we do that, we can generally, you know, we still have a chance to break out. And this is the setup. You know, this is the trade setup. Um, you have basically fairly low risk and high reward because if you say, oh, come on, because if you say that um, the risk is that you could, you know, maybe lose, let's say $200, yeah? If we come down to the thousand, maybe a bit more, yeah, depending on where you set your stop loss. But the reward is, yeah, let's say $1,800, maybe even more, because then we could reach a $3,000 level from here. You know, it's fairly low risk to high reward. I have no idea why trading view just went black, but I've, I've gone through the analysis anyway. Um, but yeah, this is, and, and the lower level wave count is still here, basically the, the same idea that I had in the previous video, that we can look at all of this here from the low as a wave one in yellow, consisting of sub waves, this here as a wave two, and we might now be in the third wave. And in this third wave, we've seen the wave one already and the wave two, and we should now rally in the third wave. Or alternatively, yes, this is the wave one, but then you have an A, B, C before you move up. Important here would just be to hold now the 1150 level. As long as we hold 1150, very short term, we can focus on higher. And then this is the breakout point. Okay, and that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.